Eugene Hughes Motorized. Let's talk about four stroking here, right? So, you're tearing ass down the road in your little 66cc. Yeah, two stroke. I know. We're talking about four stroking, and you're going to go, Eugene, this is a four stroke, okay? How in the world can this do something called four stroking? Well, here's what happens. Bottom line, due to just inefficiencies of the engine, limitations of the engine, exhaust gas isn't going out quick enough. That's part of it. It's getting backed up. There's too much exhaust gas trapped in here, and it doesn't fire. If it's loaded up with exhaust gas, and the piston comes up, it's not going to fire. So you will notice, as you start off from zero RPMs to your maximum RPMs, your power, I mean these engines don't have more than about two horsepower, but your, your power slowly goes up as you increase the RPMs, and then you kind of hit that one little band there where you're, you're ripping along, your power's increasing, and then we do what we're calling four-stroking. The power just levels off, and it, it actually it runs worse. Okay, and it, it seems to drop off there. That's just some limitations of the engine, okay? It's limitation of the flow of the engine. And one of the quickest fixes you can do to help things flow a little bit better is adjust your jetting. Stock from the factory, these here are a little bit rich, and they come with the number 70 jet. You remove the two screws here on your carburetor bowl, Pull the carburetor and the jets underneath here, and you want to jet it down to a number 66. Okay, that's at sea level most engines. But bottom line, you want to do a plug chop after you do any tuning to this here. But we're going to get onto that plug chop here in a little bit more detail here, okay? Another thing you can do is toss that filter. Be a rebel. I know it's a big dare. Take the air filter off and you'll increase the air going in, and that's going to help with this leveling off, this four stroking here. Okay? Now, another thing that causes things to taper off is how well your crank assembly is balanced. And I know some of the sellers out there will sell you a kit for $180 or whatever, and they say it's got a balanced crank. Well, no. Some kits are better balanced than others, you, you, you can't deny that, but it takes time and money to properly, I mean, to balance a, a crank assembly to precision takes time, and only your, uh, your better builders, your, your custom builders are going to take the time to do that. There are videos if you want to go that much in depth, but if your crank assembly is poorly balanced, that's going to limit how many RPMs you can go, and that's going to cause that power band to taper off. That's one aspect of it. Now, another aspect of it here is if we improve the flow overall and balance things out a little bit better, we can get a little bit more power out of the engine, okay? So, we need to look at this as a pump. We're sucking air in here, and we're pushing it out there. We're, we're pumping air, okay? While we're at it, we're siphoning gas up the carburetor bowl into the intake. It goes down into the crank assembly, up the transfer ports, into your combustion chamber, and it shoots out the exhaust. Okay, so that is the cycle. If we increase the flow characteristics here in the engine, we're going to get better performance. So what we can do is clean up the ports. I've got a video down below showing you how to do the porting, basic porting there we can get a better exhaust on it, an expansion chamber. That's going to help balance things out and get the, an ideal balance here. That's one thing with your little two-stroke engines here is a balancing of, of things here, and it's a little bit more technical than uh, my understanding here. But I know that uh, with a, a better expansion chamber, like off of uh, uh, a Yamaha, mini bike, Kawasaki, Suzuki, KTM, a big fatty expansion chamber is going to help. But no matter how you change the flow of it, you want to go back and you want to do a plug chop and that'll tell you how you want to jet it. Okay, now as well, if you 
really improve your flow and get a good pipe on it and it's have a, a balanced crank on it you can burn more fuel and you may need a bigger jet you may need to go up even you know 75 or whatever you don't know until you do a plug chop how do you do this plug chop thing here right well it's got something to do with the spark plug right so you're going to start off with a brand new sparkly shiny clean spark plug you're going to set the gap on it you're going to put your fresh spark plug and you're going to warm up the engine you're going to go full throttle wide open throttle all the way open for at least 30 seconds and then kill it kill it instantly then pull your spark plug and you're going to take a look at the tip of it here ideally we want a nice cocoa brown color if it's black it's too rich and if it's gray or white it's too lean and you need to jet accordingly we're going to have a fatty pipe video coming up soon here i hope you learned a little something about four stroking what it is blah 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 if you like the video you think it's helpful give me a thumbs up there's a subscribe button down there thanks for watching